Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming during the lunch break. It's uh, really <laughs> nice to see you here. My name is Olga. I'm working as a sales engineer at Century right now. Before, I have been working uh, as a software and web developer for like 13 years old. And uh, 13 years, sorry. And um, today, I will talk about Century EXTJS. It's a JavaScript framework for building enterprise data intensive web applications. So this track is called um, Modern Web, and I would like to talk to you about Modern Web for Enterprises. Uh, you may wonder why, what is the difference between Modern Web in general and Modern Web for Enterprises. And difference is that um, enterprises have a special requirements. Uh, they need to develop fast, complex, business-critical applications that have to be alive for several years. And every word in this definition is important, and I would like to clarify them. What means fast? Fast means that to be competitive, uh, enterprises have to shorten time to market, as well as uh, release time for every new version of application. Uh, what means complex? Application is complex when it has several modules, tens of submodules, hundreds or thousands of user stories, and huge code base, and many years of development. And what makes application business critical? Uh, application is business critical when it needs to be stable and reliable, uh, work like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and suit all um, changing business requirements. And it's quite often that um, uh, business critical applications, uh, enterprise applications, have to handle huge data sets, uh, huge enterprise data sets, means uh, be very data intensive. And when we talk about uh, business critical applications, we talk more about uh, product development instead of application development. And what means to be alive for several years? It means that application should be easy maintainable and supportable, follow all modern uh, technologies, modern techniques, and work with all new browsers and devices. And Sanchez suits perfectly into this uh, enterprise requirement. It provides a JavaScript framework and all tools around for rapid development of um, complex uh, business critical data intensive cross platform enterprise applications. Um, so, um, how um, Sanchez could help um, uh, enterprises to manage these requirements? Uh, our main product is called EXTJS. It's a JavaScript framework, pretty mature. It's uh, already 11 years old, uh, has six main uh, major versions, and current version is 6.5. And um, uh, the biggest advantage of EXTJS, I would say, is a rich set of robust components. All components are perfectly compatible to each other and optimized to work with a huge data set huge enterprise data sets. Um, to handle these data sets, we have advanced data package that could be configured to work with um, uh, any backend or database, could communicate with web server using like uh, REST API, AJAX, or any other uh, technology. And EXTJS is completely cross-platform uh, framework. Uh, we support all browsers uh, starting from modern one and down to Internet Explorer 8 and 9. And for enterprises, it could be sometimes really important. And we provide architectural patterns that uh, could clean your code and make uh, application easy, maintainable, and supportable. Theming of EXTJS application could really it could be really easy. You just change different variables like uh, colors, fonts in a special graphical interface. And there is not only framework, but also all set of tooling around it let, that let you build, uh, minimize, debug, inspect, design, and test your web applications. And we support all modern web features like new versions of JavaScript and uh, progressive web applications features. And I would like to go a, deep, um, a bit deeper into every point and show you a couple of examples. As I said, uh, why our customers love EXTJS, it's a huge set of rich components. We have uh, basically everything that you may need to develop uh, complex enterprise web applications, grids, uh, 
trees, tree grids, pivot grids, charts, calendars, dashboards, any kind of uh, form fields, uh, data visualizations. And I would like you to show you a couple of examples just to uh, give you an impression. Um, here we have a grid, uh, and uh, our grid uh, supports um, row body out of box. You could insert another component inside of row body, like also grid inside of grid. Uh, you have a sorting filtering uh, broken out of box, and you could have uh, like uh, component widgets directly into grid. And another example is calendar component. Uh, you could have months, week, day view, and you could configure different rules if uh, different events could overlap or not, uh, drag and drop different events, create a new one. Um, so it's just two examples. And all components are perfectly compatible to each other. You do not need to code something uh, special, like to share data between grid and form, for example. And they optimize to work with huge data sets. If you are interested, I have an example uh, when I load one million records in a grid. Uh, of course, they are not loaded uh, at the same time, but we use really highly optimized rendering. So for user, it looks like you have one million records in a grid. Uh, in reality not, but it looks like, <laughs> and it uh, works uh, extremely fast. And all components are easy custom, could be easy customized. Um, Cross-platform. Uh, with EXTJS, you could have an uh, application with a single code base and target all devices like tablets, uh, um, smartphones, and desktop devices. Of course, you could configure different views for different devices, or you may choose to have different data for different devices or different behavior for different devices. So it's uh, full flexibility that you want to have. And uh, common techniques like responsive design is also supported. You could, for example, uh, configure different views to be used for desktop and uh, mobile version of your application, like grid for desktop version and list for mobile version. Um, advanced data package. EXTJS includes uh, all classes that you may need to handle uh, complex enterprise data, like models to describe your data, store to store your records, uh, field types of different uh, field uh, data fields of different types, uh, proxies to communicate with server using um, like Ad, uh, AJAX, uh, REST, uh, or JSONP protocols, reader and writer that could uh, transfer data with server using JSON, XML, uh, array, or other formats. Uh, you could use one-to-one, one-to-many, or many-to-many -many associations to handle internal data dependencies, and uh, highly customized validators to handle data constraints. Uh, different operations like create, update, destroy, read could be combined into operation batches and uh, sessions to package data manipulations. Architectural patterns. We offer advanced class system as well as uh, architectural patterns, uh, model view, view model, or model view controller that help you to separate your view logic from your data logic, from your business logic, and it could be really important for complex enterprise applications. We also support data binding, including two-way, but it's optional. Uh, if you don't want, you may use only one-way data binding, and it also could uh, help you to make your application code much cleaner. Simon, as I said, uh, Simon of EXTJS application is very easy. We use SAS, syntactically awesome CSS themes. We have several predefined themes like RIS theme or material design theme, and you could configure them by changing different uh, variables in a special graphical interface, Sencha Simmer. And we also provide JavaScript based uh, SAS compiler, uh, and uh, you could use it for runtime simming. When you sim your application, change different variables like colors, and you see results in browser immediately without page reload. 
And as I said, TXTJS, it's not just a framework, it's also tooling around it that could help you to increase your development productivity and uh, improve application quality. Sentry command could help you to build and minimize your application. Sentry architect could help you to um, build your application using drag and drop of different components on Canvas and configuring them. And plugins for different ID help you to do code generation, code auto completion, refactoring. Sentry inspector uh, let you inspect and debug your application. Sentry simmer, as I said, could make simming of VXTJS applications extremely easy. And last but not the least, uh, Sentry test could help you to write unit and end to end tests for your application. And we support all modern web features, like new versions of ECMAScript and progressive web app features. Uh, so you could make your application installable, at least on Android devices, and user could la uh, launch your application by clicking on an icon at the home screen instead of manually typing URL in a browser. And we support offline mode using service workers and all of this just with a simple configuration. You do not need to do any manual coding. So as I said, EXTJS is a full framework. It includes everything that you may need to develop enterprise applications, class system data package, um, architectural patterns, components, uh, area support, data binding, etc. And it's a fast and stable framework. It's 10 years old, and uh, we run about 10,000 tests every day to test it. And I have good news for React developers. Uh, if you are a React developer and uh, you want to use ext.js components, now you could do it using e now our new product, ext React. It's a component library for React. And uh, React developers uh, do not need to, do, uh, to learn something special to use ext.js components inside the React application. They could do it uh, just as any other React component. It includes uh, more than 100 ready-to-use UI components. They are perfectly compatible, tested, supported by Sentia, and um, um, uh, optimized to work with a huge data sets. So at the end, I would like to show you some of our customers just to give an impression what kind of uh, companies are using Sentry uh, to build uh, their enterprise applications. And I was quite fast, and I have two and a half minutes for questions, and I would be happy to talk to you. Yes, uh, actually, we have uh, uh, released uh, like preview release. It's called X Angular, and it's available as preview release. It's not production version, but uh, preview release. Um, uh, yeah, uh, X, X React is uh, a commercial license, uh, but we have a GPL version of ext.js, and we have. GPL version of a connector between ext.js and React. It's called ext-reactor, Xreact, and you could use it uh, using GPL version if you want, if your project is GPL licensed. If you use GPL version, then it's free. Thank you.